Nothing in medicine happens without nursing acceptance. And so without the nurses, working with the patients and the physicians, no organ donors will ever occur. In my first couple years, there was a younger boy. He was a very sad case of a kid being a kid and riding his bike and rode out into traffic. Just a tragic accident and uh, had a devastating head injury. I got very close with that family. They got the news that they had been waiting for. They found out that his heart was going to a little girl. I think she was around 10. She had been given two days left to live. Uh, so they got to know that. that that was the peace. That was what, that's what we're there for is giving them that peace and knowing uh, that there was some sort of purpose. That case <clears throat> was one of these at first gave me the emotional passion for taking care of donor patients. It's unfortunate that these things happen, but we don't have control of that, but we do have control of what happens next. We've had a lot of success uh, with our organ donation program just through the collaboration with Midwest Transplant Network. In order for us to make the call to MTN, there are certain clinical triggers. We have 60 minutes to call once that patient hits the point that they have a classical coma scale less than six. My job is to make sure that that happens 100% of the time. Time is of essence. Every minute counts. You begin to have that conversation with family about, are we in a situation where we want to move to palliative care? What are our options for end of life care? Anytime that conversation comes up, it's a trigger to contact Midwest Transplant Network. Having somebody who specializes in having those critical conversations at the right time can mean the difference between a family deciding to donate or not donate. Seeing patients who have received life-saving gifts from other people, being on transplant rotations in residency is a very powerful thing. Those patients are all extremely grateful. It's been very powerful to see the outcomes of some of these patients just from the hard work of what the nurses and the physicians have done. And we do a celebration of life ceremony every year um, where we bring in organ donor families and get to hear about organs um, that have been you know, given to recipients and the life change that that's made and that's an experience that unless you've been in it before, is um, it's unlike anything else. Back in my earlier years of my nursing career, I'd be so devastated because I lost a patient at the end of my shift. As I had matured into my nursing career, I had actually said that, you know, it is not a loss after all, especially if that patient had given that gift of life. It has saved a patient's life and not just one, but eight, and potentially 50 more from out of that donation. We have this memorial area in the hospital, and there was a family that was in that situation that had not come to the point of even talking about donation yet. They saw that wall, and then they approached us because they were so touched by it. It's an unthinkable time, I'm sure, for families. And um, I'm just pleased to, to be a part of it, uh, just to help something positive come out of such a tragedy. It's not just a job, it's, it's people's lives. It's a heavy responsibility to know that, to make sure that every time that we are doing everything we can for both that patient and their family, but then for those who get the gift as well.